sharing with you the best things to do in southern Portugal. If you don't know, we shipped our van all the way from the US to Europe and we've been here in Portugal for the last three weeks. So we have plenty of videos for you, but let's get right into it. Woo woo! So we just got down to the world's number one beach. It got voted that in 2013. It is gorgeous, but what I'm more excited about is taking a kayak through sea caves along the coastline here. Thoughts on your beach, Anne? I love the beach. I could just sit here all day. All day. Getting ready for a big day in the sun. Oh yeah. Always wear your SPF, guys. We don't need no cancer. Yeah. And we'll probably get wrinkles anyways. When I was a kid, I hated this. And I still don't like it as an adult, but I know I have to do it. I appreciate it more as an adult. Like I know that the sunscreen actually helps. <laughs> as a kid, I just burnt all the time. Best part about having a wife, right here. Thanks, Anne. You're welcome. Anna, how is lugging it down? Oh, God. I, I'm not weak. I don't know what it is. It's just hard <laughs> to go down that staircase of a kayak. This was 50 euro to rent for two hours. These kayaks go fast, so I'll make sure to link a tour down in the description below for you guys. That way you don't have to lug it downstairs like we had to, and the kayaks will be ready for you when you get down here. I will say, I don't know if it's this time of year or not, but there's a bunch of dried up algae and a lot of flies down here. I'm glad we got the kayak and we're about to get going. Yeah, baby, I'm a rider. Water is gorgeous right now. It is a little chilly, or else I'd be getting off at every little cove and trying to swim. But midsummer, this is probably perfect. Oh, we're going swimming. Oh gosh. <laughs> when? I don't know. We're gonna find a little cove and enjoy. In our last video, we were 40 minutes west camping on Portugal's beautiful coastline. If you want to check out that video, you can click right up here. Just so you guys know, we're gonna be in Europe making videos over the next two years with our van. So make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. We love keeping up with you guys, and of course, follow us on Instagram. I mean, look at this coastline, the rocks jutting out of the water. There's no one around other than a couple tour groups hopping on random beaches. I just wonder what it's like. Just get driven in the water like this. I am on my own tour right now with Anna paddling. All I need is a charcuterie board in front of me Ooh. with some wine. I should have brought the wine bottle for sure. That would have been so fun. little beach and decided to stop. We've seen a lot of people do this, so we tried to find one where it was just us. And it's, we did. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Especially, look at that little cove over there with the blue water. Yeah. European summer is coming. I think two hours is more than enough. We just got to this little cove area and there is a man naked. I know it's Europe, but we gotta get used to it. In the US, we aren't used to that at beaches where someone just strips down and you see their PP. Excuse me if I say this wrong, but this is the famous spot where everyone goes through the coves and the caves. It's called Panta da Padid. Let me know down in the comments if I do good on that. I'd much rather do a kayak or boat tour than have to walk down those stairs. This is much more enjoyable, especially with Anna doing it all for us. Cheers. I mean, this. I can't ask for anything better. We got a San Miguel beer. They have a restaurant on the beach here, so you can just chill here all day and eat. I love it during the day when it's really hot, because this morning it was far too cold to enjoy. Now I can see why it got voted the best beach in the world. You make me feel just how I like. Well, we just took some showers, got ready for dinner. I think we clean up pretty well. For a van, it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> all right, we're gonna head into Old Town and get some food and walk around. We left our van at the beach and we took an Uber in for like less than four euro. That's so convenient because it's really hard to find parking. We're currently in Old Town Lago. I started the evening with some gelato actually because I was hungry and I figured who doesn't want ice cream at all times of the day. And then before dinner, we're having a cocktail. Happy hour, this entire liter is 14 euro. So cheers to a European summer starting in April. <laughs> and cheers to sangria. Fun sangria. We're here at Dom Sebastian. It's a very popular place in Lagos. It's been here since the 70s. I know it's gonna be good. If you're not starting every meal with bread, olives, and cheese, what's this all been about? What are we even doing here? 
If you're not gonna eat the goods. The goods. This is the European goods. I got pork cheeks and it's like a stew. I love anything stew. I got the Portuguese steak. As you see the potatoes around it. It's absolutely amazing, but I didn't realize that they have like prosciutto or something on top of the steak. Now that, <laughs> now that is comfort food. Hands down, the best meals we've had in Portugal so far. So if you're in Lagos, definitely go to that restaurant. Even though it's widely reviewed and recommended, it lives up to the hype. And now we are back at Dona Ana. My phone died. Ian's phone wouldn't work with the Uber because of his phone number and like, our date is not on or whatever. Tried to find our way back to the van. And somehow we found this beach. We cut through a hotel. It was like a 20 minute walk. And it's a lot different seeing it at night, but it's beautiful. Made it back home. Guys, this just isn't normal. Like I feel like we went on a proper date. We went into town, it was beautiful. And we just walked back on the beach to our house. You could look at our toilet on the ground right there because we took showers earlier. Well, you're gonna see our van a mess this trip, let's be honest. The thing is, Ian and I are very anal. So by like the next day, everything's always perfectly clean. But midday, it's like you're in and out, you know, running around. Back in the van real quick to introduce the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know that I have been through some stuff, including losing one of my best friends at a very young age. Also, just the struggles of living life on the road. I know it looks really fun, but there's a lot of stress that comes with it. I struggle with a lot of things, and I finally started therapy one year ago. I did it in Charlotte, North Carolina in person, but then we started traveling full-time again, and my best option was using BetterHelp. The best part about BetterHelp is you have many options to have trial and errors with different therapists and I finally found one that works for me not only people that struggle with mental health but just everyone should have someone to talk to because every time I do I feel so much lighter and happier and I learn something about myself so we'd like to give you guys 10% off of better help for your first month the link is in the description below and of course if you guys are using our link it helps support our channel so yeah let's get back to the video Starting our day 40 minutes east of Lagos at a place called Marina Beach. Make sure to come early. We found the last spot about a five minute walk from the beach. All the way down there is the parking lot and it was full to the brim at 11 a.m. So come by like 9 a.m. and you'll get a spot. This beach is famous not only for its beauty, but because it's the start of the Seven Hanging Valleys Trail, which is one of the best hikes in all of Europe. It's six kilometers out and back all along this coastline. So you could start here and end over there. Maybe take an Uber back to your car, but we're gonna be heading down to the beach right now. Now we'll see how the stairs go. So I actually think this is the most beautiful beach we've been to here in Portugal. Throughout all of our Portugal videos, you can kind of tell that you need a car here. Just because it's the ultimate freedom, you know, being able to visit whatever beach whenever you want, leaving whenever you want. That way it's easier to explore the entire coastline. I would actually recommend getting a camper van and just camping here because you can free camp on cliffs. We have an awesome recommendation for a campsite for you. Yeah, you just get a taste of that and be able to visit these incredible places all on your own whenever you want. This whole region of Portugal is called the Algarve, and it's such a well-rounded destination for any type of traveler, whether you're old, a surfer, or young and want to party. Portugal is one of the best places to surf in all of Europe, especially down here in the Algarve. So I recommend coming down here and spending about a week enjoying up and down the coast. There's these bugs everywhere because of the seaweed right here. There's a ton, but you just gotta find the sand that doesn't have the seaweed on it. Of course, over by us right now, it's less crowded because of these bugs. But down there, there's no seaweed and no bugs. This is a hidden gem. This is the coolest restaurant I've ever seen in my life. So this is the way to the restaurant, and then over here is the way to either cliff jump or just walk through caves. Got our mandatory bread and olives and of course sangria. And definitely need the sangria because we're about to go cliff jumping and the water's a little bit chilly here in late April, early May. What are you eating? This is really good. They called it tomato salsa. It's warm, but it's really good. It's kind of like a tomato sauce. Oh, yeah. I'm excited like to dig in. And then these carrots are really good too. They're garlicky. Loving this. It's new, but I love it. The restaurant's right there. Now we're gonna go, you know, walk through some caves, I guess. Wow, look at this. So like, much better than I thought. Yes, the view from here of the coastline is ridiculous. And down here, 
I kind of want to cliff jump, but we're really high up. Romantic, it's cute. It does get crowded every once in a while with people coming in, but people leave after they take their pictures, you know? Yeah, and it's not nearly as bad as it would be in high season. I think it's really, really crowded here in high season. Also, I've seen a few bees, so if you're allergic to bees, be careful. Maybe bring an EpiPen, because there might be a nest in here. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite spots in all of Portugal right now, especially with the waves crashing. <laughs> Wow, there's like a natural pool in this cove area and we're just walking along the cliffs right now. We've made an executive decision. If no one else is jumping, we're not gonna be the ones that go ahead and do it. It looks way too rough. There are white caps, as my dad would say. When there are white caps, okay? I'm guessing if you come on a calmer day, there will already be people jumping in and you'll spot the stairs from where they swim to. Coming back to our van to have our afternoon little dessert of a banana and peanut butter. But that restaurant was amazing down there. I got chicken piri piri. It's kind of this spicy chicken. And I will have to say, Portugal, the food, we've been here for three weeks and we haven't had one bad meal. If you missed any of our Portugal videos, you can click right up here. Now we're gonna be going on a tour to the Ben and Jill Caves. This is my least favorite part about all like boat rides with groups is you always have to wear a really ugly life jacket <laughs> but it should be fun it's a big group today 20 people and we're really just going for the views maybe we'll swim who knows I am blown away by Portugal's coastline. There's endless beaches, endless caves, and just seeing it all from the boat today is amazing, so I definitely recommend it. Also, all beaches in Portugal are public, so don't be afraid to go at any one you want. We stopped at a lot of caves along the way, but we're finally at the Benagil Cave. And fun fact, it was the screensaver of Windows 2010. So that is one of the reasons it's even more popular, and it's one of the most visited caves in the world. But I actually think I remember that screensaver. I just remember a really orange rock next to water. Now I'm here, 13 years later. <laughs> There's an option to swim on this tour and I gotta take that. I know it's gonna be chilly. I think it's like 15 Celsius water. I mean, look at this coastline. This is why they call it one of the most beautiful roads in the world because you're able to pull over into spots like this and be right next to the coastline. Right now, we're doing Anna and I's favorite part of our day, cooking lunch. All right, Anne, what are we making for lunch today? We're having, I call it a Greek bowl, just because there's hummus on top, but it's really just like a little salad. And we'll do some peppers, these really cool long snow peas that I cut them up. And then I'll do some tomatoes. I like cherry tomatoes cut up. And then I'll put some onions on top of that. Ooh. So I'm actually gonna cut up some sun-dried tomatoes just to spruce it up to and then I make a little bit of chicken. So how we cook is with our induction burner. We just plug it into the wall and Anna makes unbelievable meals in here. Well, I feel like compared to at home, I make very simple meals because of the dishes. I don't want to do a lot of dishes. All right, Anna, finish us off. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, there's oh. so many people outside just staring at us. Yeah, everyone stares at our car. They blatantly take pictures of our license plate, which is fine, but like they don't acknowledge that we're in here. I have a montage of people being creepy. It's really funny. Look at this meal with this view. This is my favorite thing so far, this whole road trip. I don't even like cherries or coffee with cream. We're just enjoying our cup of coffee before we journey down the rest of the road. If you guys wanna know, I got a Harry Potter mug with Snape on it and Anna has a Malibu Farms cup. If you didn't know we were living in Charlotte, North Carolina, you can click right up here to watch our moving out video. Ian wanted to bring so many mugs and I was like, you get one mug because we live in a van now. So he chose his more coffee always. Always. And I chose my Malibu Farm cup because Malibu was one of my favorite places we road trip in our last van and this on Honest to God reminds me a lot of it right now. Also, we always go to Malibu in like October, November when no one's there. Yeah. And we have like the best viewpoints to ourselves. And right now, I can honestly say we have the best viewpoint. If you guys missed any of our USA van life series we did two years ago, you can click it right up here. We went all around like Oregon, Utah, California, and you, I think you'll really love those videos, especially seeing our old van. You'll really appreciate how far we've come.
<laughs> Cheers to you guys. This road right here so far has also reminded us of Big Sur. Highway 1 in California is just one road up the coast and that's kind of what this resembles. One thing that surprised me about this road that I love is that there's walking and hiking paths right on the cliff edge. So if you enjoy walking through with beautiful flowers, sand dunes, and insane views, this is definitely a spot to go. And I highly recommend renting a vehicle, renting a camper van for your southern Portugal road trip. After driving 30 minutes down the coast, we made it to a famous surf town called Sagres, and it's also famous for brewing one of Portugal's most well-known beers called Sagres. Hopefully I'll have one of those later at dinner, but for now we're visiting a 15th century fort right at the edge of the coast. It was built by Henry the Navigator, who is one of the biggest influences on the Age of Discovery. Henry brought together cartographers, sea captains, sailors, and explorers that were willing to compile their information together in hopes to find unknown lands and push the boundaries of the known world. He sponsored explorations that discovered famous islands like Madeira and Azores and in many places along the coast of Africa. Sadly, we cannot visit today because it's 514 and they closed at 5. But the reason this place is so significant is because up until the 13th century, Europeans thought this was the edge of the earth. This is the farthest they explored, so that's what they nicknamed it, the edge of the world. <laughs> Before we do anything next, I want to put on a little makeup and get cute because we're going to go to dinner. I love the Honest Beauty line. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you all know what Honest is, but they have a beauty line that no one's talking about. And I love their like blush. I even have their skin lotion. So check it out if you like clean products like me. So first time trying the Sagres beer and I've had the Superbach already, which is another famous Portuguese beer. And I like the Superbach better. Let me know down in the comments what you guys like better. We're here at Three Little Birds. It's a restaurant that serves up burgers, tacos, anything but Portuguese food because we've been eating a lot of it, especially with our food tours in Porto. If you missed that video, you can check it out right up here. Anna, what's your favorite part of Portugal so far? We haven't shown anyone. We went there just for ourselves for like an hour the other day, but we found this random beach. I forget what it's called and it was literally insane. It had beautiful red rocks, great water. I mean, the temperature was fine. We went swimming and it was the best hour of my life. Life. So I can't wait to go back and show you guys. So because we've been driving a lot, my favorite part of this entire trip so far is driving through these small cities, these small villages, whether that be in Belgium, France, Spain, and now Portugal. It's just so much fun seeing all these little towns, colorful buildings, the orange rooftops. I haven't had a burger in a while and this thing is absolutely massive. I feel bad, Anna. What are that you doing over amazing. there? That amazing. Okay, I'm just insanely impressed that that's 11 euro and this is 8.5 euro. Look at how small I know, and look how big this burger is. <laughs> very huge. We pulled up to the same spot we showed you earlier, but now the sun is setting and there's no one here, and we're gonna sleep here tonight. So take a look at this insane view. Just look at that long coastline ahead. There's no one else here. I don't really understand it. And then all out there, the sun is about to set. This is why you do van life. <laughs> this is exactly why. I really don't know how you can beat this setup right now. Perfect sunset and the Atlantic Ocean just popping. Now, Portugal was never that high on my bucket list. I didn't really realize how amazing this place was and I'm hearing a lot of Americans actually come here to retire and I wanna come here to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Cause this is just, it's too much beauty. These are my favorite moments of van life. Actually my favorite moments of travel. I know we're travel vloggers and we've helped so many of you plan your trips and we do all these cool things but I don't even care about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like my favorite is the in-between small moments. Even on our US road trip, those are the ones I remember. Like waking up at Badlands or... Well, they're actually right here with us right now for this small moment. Who? Them. I know, they always are. Sweet, you got what I need. Morning ritual. Morning ritual. Anna, what are we doing? We have ricotta toast with jam in the morning. It's so random, but I love it. And it just is like the perfect way to start your day. Yes. But even better here in Portugal for the first time, I've gotten pumpkin jam. I've never seen it anywhere else in the world. I'm gonna look, keep an eye out for it now. It's freaking amazing. We actually got another jar the other day. They had it at Aldi too. The first time we got it for like eight euro at this specialty shop and then like Aldi has it and it's just as good. So I'm pumped anyways. That's the story of the morning. <laughs> There's no better way to start thy day than watching Anna go pick up a table 
she smashed by driving over it. <laughs> I literally had this outside last night and I was like, huh, if we move the van, I wonder if I'll accidentally run over it. And I did. They didn't have any no camping signs here, so I think we're fine to park here. I wonder how bad it gets during high season in summer. But for now, no one was here, no one knocked on our windows, and it was a nice night's sleep. Last stop is Carinos Beach. It's my favorite beach. I just absolutely love it. I love the orange. I think it's the most orange of all the ones we've been to. And it's not too crowded. There's no hiking involved. We're so sad oh. because this is actually our last day in Portugal. That is the worst feeling because we've been here so long and when you're in a place for so long you end up loving it and never wanting to leave i could live down in southern portugal for a couple months yeah for us we're like the worst travelers because everywhere we go we're like we should just stay forever but we do want to explore a little bit more and don't be too sad because we're hoping next spring to go to madeira azores we have to hit up lisbon we did not hit it up this time all right so we'll be back portugal see you in 2024 and tomorrow we're heading eight hours to valencia and then shipping our van on a ferry over to in Mallorca. Yeah, so we're sticking with the island and beaches right now. <laughs> yes, it's too good of vibes. All right, Bye. we'll see you in the next one. Woo!